Too Much Punch for Judy was my first really successful play. And I think a DVD of a collection of scenes wouldn't be possible without showing the crash scene. When this was first written in 1987, we knew we had to stage a crash scene. We had no idea how to do it. I can remember turning up at the rehearsal with melons and hammers, thinking that we could maybe use melons and hammers to, to create the squish of the, the heads and so on. In the end, we ended up with a very simple way of staging the scene stylistically using the whiplash effect and a, a number of freeze frames. This version is a much more developed version of the scene, um, one that 20 years ago we could never have conceived of. And at this point in time, I'm really happy with this becoming a template for the way the scene should be done. But I'd also hope that in 20 years it goes through another number of developments and something that at the moment I couldn't conceive of is, is then being done with this scene. sports centre doing an aerobics class. After a few drinks there, we went on to the wine bar. I still remember all the promises you made. They stayed. Do you remember drunk an awful lot? Uh, I hadn't know. had an enormous amount. No, About three quarters of a bottle of wine, which to me isn't a lot. I certainly didn't feel drunk. So I suggested it would be better if I drove. No, 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 no. It's my car. It's my responsibility. Look, what's going to happen if you get pulled up? You'll go to court with two drink driving convictions, which means a huge van and a ridiculous fine. No, it's my car. Look, I haven't had as much to drink as you, so I'm only going to be a bit over the limit. And anyway, it makes no odds to me if I get caught, because I don't need to drive as much as you what with my job. OK, then. You drive. We got into the car, which is merely the driving seat, and put on a tape. It was about five miles from Epping Sports Centre to North Weald, where I live. The last thing I remember was going past the hospital. I was out with a fairly young PC. We've been static at Scratch Bridge in North Weald for about half an hour. As far as I can remember, it was about 5 to 12. We decided to go in for a cup of tea at midnight. As we made our way towards Epping, I happened to know Joe and Judy drive by. I'd known their family for well over 10 years. I suppose they'd been out enjoying themselves. We drove on towards Epping. I was used to driving a bigger car with power steering. And I guess what must have happened is where I was a bit drunk. I forgot I was in Joe's car and just didn't turn the wheel enough at Scratch Bridge. I can't remember us going off the road. I can't remember us hitting the curb or anything. God, God, it must have took off when we hit that curb. Every now and then, I get flashbacks. I keep thinking that she told me to slow down. But I can't remember her being in the car. I just can't remember anything. Okay, then you drive. It's my car, it's my responsibility. I think I'll make a will. I'm only a bit of 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 of a bit of of Okay then, you drive! Oh. 